What's up guys, welcome back to yet another challenge run. Now, this one's a little different than the previous ones because the challenge I wanted to do was a weapon swapping challenge. Basically, the general rule is that whenever I take down someone, I have to then pick up their gun and use it to take down the next person. So it's this endless cycle of weapon swapping. I don't really know what I'm gonna get. Sometimes I get a really fun gun, other times I just have to pull out my fists. However, because the challenge is like this, I felt that I needed to live stream it. Obviously, if you're only seeing a couple moments, you wouldn't know that I weapon swapped all the behind the scenes sort of assault in progresses and all of those missions. So I wanted to make sure that I put it all out there so you guys could watch it. I'll be putting the live stream down in the description below. It turned into a three part live stream a little over 10 hours. Since this is a live stream, you will be seeing my beautiful face in the right side of the screen pretty much the entire time. To quickly go over the rules, obviously I have to use the gun of the person I just killed, and I have to then use that gun to take down the next person. So I can't pick up a gun and then stealth take down someone. And also, I'm going to treat this like a lot of my other runs where I have to engage in every combat scenario that is presented to me along the main story. Another thing, because you can't pick up guns in Johnny flashbacks, I just have to play those out as normal. And also the driving segments, because I can't swap guns or pick up guns, I have to just play those out as normal as well. They're basically glorified cutscenes. I really enjoy making these videos and I'm excited to keep making them. So if you guys want to see more of this in the future, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, so I know to keep making these. Anyways, that's enough of an intro, let's jump into this. As usual, I put the game on the hardest difficulty and decided to go for the Street Kid intro. I then asked chat how many times I should hit randomize before hitting enter, and the first answer I got was 10. So I threw it in there and we ended up with this beautiful man. I mean, let's be real, wouldn't you be jealous of that hair? Now I know my face is in the way here, but I put my starting attributes into body, reflexes, and technical ability. Booting up the game, we go through the Street Kid intro as normal, and then make it to the first mission. Hello? Okay, thank you. Oh my god. That's very hard for you right there. I was like, yeah, I got this. Totally into this. No, I guess not. <laughs> Pick it up. Thank you. Uh, where is it? Where's his gun? That's not his gun. Put him down, put him down, put him down, V. <laughs> I think that's it, right there. Gosh, okay, this is gonna be an issue. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be an issue. Alright, uh, just aim at him and Jackie will get him. There you go. With that mission done, we hop into the driving segment, and like I stated, I'm just gonna play it out as normal because I can't even swap guns or anything. So it just that's just how it's gonna be. After getting a good night's sleep, I go get my car back from Jackie, I go meet up with Vic, I get my zoomy eyes, and finally go meet up with Dex to talk about the mission, the heist. Now in this entire run, I do kind of treat it a little more like a speed run where I'm not doing a bunch for leveling. I don't really get super high level even by the end of this. So I decide to run straight for the mission, jumping into all foods. I start off by grabbing the credit chip from Meredith, hoping that I can get the money off the chip for myself later, but actually I never end up doing that. So it was kind of useless. Jackie and I head into all foods and have a nice conversation with the Maelstrom boys where I end up killing Royce. And I get one of my probably three instances that I get to use an iconic gun. Give it. Give me the gun. Oh my gosh, game. Jackie, every time I do this mission, I'm always surprised at how fast he kills everybody just in this room. Only this room. No, no, no. Gosh, the recoil in this game is crazy. I just tried to, uh, I just tried to go prone like I do in Call of Duty when I reload. <laughs> That's not a thing. Oh, put down the body. This gun, I swear. It actually kind of sucks. Oh, 
I have no healing anymore. That's great. Much better. <laughs> Why is Ricochet just that broken? <laughs> like, like, look at this. I don't even have to aim, and it just is like guaranteed shots. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. I like don't want to use Ricochet though because it's like, I don't know, it's like a lack in skill. <laughs> What's the point in even swapping if I'm just going to keep getting the same gun? Easy. After Jackie and I make it out, I head over to Lizzie's bar to meet up with Evelyn and she shows me her brain dance. We finally find where they're holding Johnny Silverhand and I immediately head to the afterlife to jump into the mission, the heist. I go say a quick hello to Hideo Kojima. <laughs> I love how they make him talking about brain dances and how they're so simplistic. And I get through the whole segment with the flathead and we eventually head up to Yorinobu's penthouse. Now because they took away my gun, I grab Yorinobu's pistol as the starting gun to get this process rolling. We grab Johnny Silverhand and Chat and I sit and awkwardly listen to them stip stomp around. It's such an anticlimactic scene when you fast forward it all. <laughs> Music! <laughs> Chat makes sure I grab the iguana egg. I kill the two guards on the roof and make my way into the combat segment, trying to make it out of the building. Oh, I, sh I was pushing too hard. Give me. Yo, I forgot about this pistol. It's so rare to find it. No, 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 gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Ah, oh, I pushed too hard. Oh, I didn't kill him. Ooh, okay. I'm kind of getting the rhythm of picking up people's guns. It's, it's awkward, but it's not that bad. It's kind of fun playing with a wide variety of guns, too. <laughs> I really wanted to use that gun. No. Okay, I push. I should have healed. No, 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 no. Dude, what the heck? I cleared that out so easy the first time. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Jackie. Okay, Jackie got him. All right. Oh, shoot. Where's his gun? Where's his gun? Where's his gun? It's in the ground. It's in the ground. I saw it in the ground. Oh, my God. That's oh, another one. Oh, nice, Jackie. Uh, I was shooting this guy. I'm going to take this. Not like it's really going to matter. Okay, obviously, I'm gonna kill this thing, but it's not gonna drop a gun, so. These things are actually so easy to take out once you know that the guns are a weak point. Pull out the pistol for the uh, driving segment. After hopping into Delamain, I treat the driving segment as usual and finally say our last goodbyes to Jackie. Oh, dude, the music, just the way everything kind of cuts out, the audio. Jackie. I go meet up with Dex and he tells me to wash up and I get reminded of the beautiful character I'm playing as. <laughs> Do 
Dex decides to then kill me, and we start the Johnny Silverhand flashback. Now, because none of this matters, we're literally just gonna skip over it. We wake up in our body, Takemura saves us from Dex, and we hop into yet another driving segment. After getting through all the cutscenes and stuff, I make sure my drip is on point and run to meet up with Takemura. At this point, I'm a level 8 and I'm able to get some of the perks that I think are going to be extremely helpful, like multitasker and divided attention. Being able to reload, jump, sprint, vault, all that stuff, basically allowing me to reload and full sprint away from enemies and jump over things so I don't have to worry about it getting interrupted. Also, any sort of health regen, uh, health buffs. I'm able to basically get the athletics tree finished to where I pretty much want it to be. Now, because eventually my goal is to get a Sandy and the one I want requires 12 reflexes, I know that I'm going to need a couple more levels in order to reach that. So I decided to do just a little bit of grinding uh, and it just doesn't go so well. Okay. Oh, okay. Thanks for lighting me on fire, dude. Heal, heal, V. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm actually struggling hard with this mission. This one's usually not that bad for me. <laughs> Excuse me? Whoa. Dude, hits me with two bullets and I'm basically dead. No, 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 no. Bro, why did I mantle there? Maybe I, maybe I do leave this mission alone for a bit. After deciding to wrap up the stream and pick it up the next day, I start off my stream by meeting up with Judy, and because I got the call from Takemura as I was loading up, I decide to then go ahead to meet up with him and chat. Excuse me. me. Name me. <laughs> I got it. Yes. What? It's so hard to get it while they're driving. Someone shoot him before it's too late. <laughs> Yo. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> they were still in the car. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> I didn't realize. I just took it that quick, didn't I? <laughs> Good to see you, V. Yo, the car stayed. It's, pretty, it's uh... so rare for the car to actually stay. <gasps> Sick. It's going to mess up this cutscene. Oda's going to drive through it, I think. <laughs> oh, dang it. I shouldn't have fast forwarded that. After getting the information we need from Wakako, I head up to Clouds to find what happened to Evelyn. Oh, right. Sad. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go fists then, I guess, for this intro piece. Ah, this takes me back. <laughs> well, aren't you the? Uh, I don't know which one I'm supposed to read. Where's your gun? What? I guess I go bare fists then. All right. After finding out where Evelyn was taken off to, we go meet up with Fingers, and we punch him for good luck. Punch. We then do some detective stuff to find out where she was taken to, and hop into this combat segment. Okay, that should be everybody. Let's go save Evelyn. With Evelyn safe, we dig into some of the brain dances that she left recorded for us. And because I need 15 grand to pay Rogue, I start doing some assault in progresses and just get a little bit of money to eventually pay her. Also, I kind of want a couple more levels. Yo, that guy didn't went down so fast. What the heck? Come at me, come at me, huh? <laughs> oh, get the counter. Oh, this is so silly. Alright, cool. They're all saying shoot, but they're all using batons. How did he die? What the heck? Alright, I guess I gotta pick his, his up now. Hold up. <laughs> These guys can't even, like, hit me. This is so odd. <laughs> Peak combat. Really is, isn't it? Okay, what am I at? Okay, if I just sell a couple guns, I should be there. Hi, Waylon. It's good to see you. After getting the information I need, I give Pan Am a call and head over to meet up with her. So, there's something I thought about. In the last video, right, Pan Am drove through this car, right? So then I started thinking about it while I was editing. 
And I said, what if there was more cars? So... Give me a minute. <laughs> Can I take this car? Cool. I, I have enough strength. No! The cars despawn! Sad. It makes me sad. Alright, we'll do two cars. Two cars is enough, right? Alright, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Aw. I wanted them to freak out. Nice ride. It was still kind of, of funny. <laughs> After grabbing some supplies from the avocados, we head off to surprise attack the Raff and Shiv. And I don't know what happened, but I think they patched the game recently and made Pan Am actually shoot bad guys, cause she kills pretty much everyone here for me. Dang, Pan Am, why do you have to do like a good job now? What the heck? Dude, I swear. The one challenge where I need her to actually like do crap, she doesn't. And look at how many dudes she just took out, by herself, like... <sighs> and because I'm not avoiding combat, Pan Am and I decide to go after Nash. I pretty much immediately run to where Nash is because I want to use Widowmaker at least once in this run. Where, once again, she shows me that she can actually put up a good fight. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Oh. Why are you so good all of a sudden? Getting Nash down, I grab Widowmaker, get my one kill in, and immediately have to swap out of it. By the time I'm done with that, Pan Am has literally killed everybody else in this area, and we move on. With this mission done, the next morning I decide to immediately follow up and head over to meet up with her and go after Anders. After doing the crazy long driving segment, we set up the bomb to make an EMP at the power plant, and Chat and I watch as the AV dances. Dance. Dance for me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and we make it to the crash site. After disabling the launcher so Pan Am can come and help, I run into an issue I didn't think about before. I pick up a smart gun and I have no smart link, so I have to basically get point blank to make these things hit correctly. And this is gonna be a big issue in these coming combat segments. We save Mitch, watch Pan Am squat in the dirt. <laughs> Every time, Pan Am. Make it through this small checkpoint combat and then find where Anders is being held. And because I'm not avoiding combat, I have to take on this entire scenario. And this is by far the hardest section I've faced yet. Because most of these guys are using smart weapons, and I don't have a smart link. Wow, this guy can take a lot of shots. <laughs> oh, the snipers, dude. Oh, they're so annoying. Oh, shoot. What? Come on, reload. Gosh, you're so slow. That's not the sniper. No. <laughs> okay, that's done. Finally. Finally, with everyone down, I grab Anders. We have a nice chat. I go meet up with Wakako to get the free smart link from her. And now because I'm at the point where I want a Sandy, I decide to go do a lot of assault and progresses to level up, gain some money, and eventually go purchase what I consider the best non-legendary Sandy out there. And then to finish out this stream, I decide to go meet up with Takemura and do the mission where we have to hack the float. But because I'm not avoiding combat, that means I need to clear this entire area full of pretty decently chunky dudes. And it's a really difficult mission. Oh, these guys are kind of tanky. This is... <laughs> oh, I'm out of heals. Oh, shoot. This is dangerous. Okay. Oh, I'm not even using my Sandy. Okay. I have a Sandy. <laughs> okay, we're good. Yo, what? No freaking way, dude. I'm gonna have to start this whole thing again. Bro, these heavy machine gun guys. Oh my gosh. They're crazy.
Oh, great. I'm gonna get a pistol as my last gun to take this thing out. There we go. Still in combat? Who's left? Okay. Oh my gosh. Finally. That took so long. With that mission finished, I wrap up my stream and decide to pick up the next day where I do a final run to the finish. I start by heading to the chapel to meet up with Placide and jump into probably the hardest combat segment I faced this entire run, confronting the animals. The reason why this one's so hard is because there's a large variety of these dudes. Some of them are chasing me down with fists while others are sitting back and shooting shots at me. The problem with this is if I kill the people up close to me, it means I then have to use my fists to take down the dudes that are far away with guns. So there's this really weird sort of dynamic that I'm chasing and trying to be smart about who I kill and when I kill them. So it's very difficult to say the least. Oh, this guy has a gun. Another gun. Nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Great. So many of these guys aren't going to have weapons. Oh. You have nothing, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, there, there. Woo. Let's go. Okay, he's down. Gun. He's down. Uh, gun. Oh, this guy's fists. No. <laughs> Alright. Going without a gun for this next guy. Good. Good. Oh, this is so much. Oh my gosh. No, this is so far back, isn't it? Oh, it's so far back. Oh. <sighs> Where's your gun? Where's your gun? Where's your gun? I know you had one. It was one of these. Where did it go? What? Proceed, shut up. <laughs> no. Just unequip. I didn't see the guy behind me. No, frick. Oh, this is so tough, actually. Thing is, the the last guy I kill will be the weapon I have for the uh, the fight with Matilda. So I want to be smart about the the last guy I kill. So like, I think this guy is a machine gun, right? I'd kind of prefer a machine gun. Just, just okay. Thank you. Oh, yo, a heavy machine gun. Oh, yes. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> As we prepared appropriately. What's going on? Cover me. Bring it. Oh, come on. I got to break the thing on her back. Not in particular. There we go. Got him. Okay. Ah, <sighs> what a fight, guys. Am I right? Music goes hard though, dude. Nice. Okay. That's not a bad gun. 
finally making it to the Netwatch agent. We knock him out. Placid tries to kill us, and then we go confront Placid and finally get a meet up with Brigitte. And we jump into yet another Johnny Silverhand flashback. And once again, because I can't pick up guns in these scenarios, I just have to play it out as normal. So we're just gonna skip over it. Getting out of the ice bath, because I'm not avoiding combat, I immediately pull my gun and start shooting. After heavily abusing the Sandy to take down Placid, we eventually make it out and I finally get the call from Takemura to do the mission, play it safe. Now, by this point in most runs, I have a lot of cyberware and double jump, but because I've been speedrunning this, I don't have a lot of that usual stuff and end up making some stupid mistakes. <laughs> I tried to double jump and again, I don't have double jump. So I jumped on the mine. Oh, it's so dumb. Okay. After finally clearing my way to the last sniper, I'm very conscious of the last couple guys and the guns that they have because I want to go into the Oda fight with a gun that I actually want to use. Yes. Yes, apparently. Okay, this will be a good gun for the Oda fight. Drop a quick save. Let's go. Fuck! Stay away from his Oh jeez. Boy got like a little ballerina dance. I love your little spin, dude. It's so cute. Where are you going? Nice. Easy. I Ooh, I get to use a good katana for managed to for one instance. After getting through the fight with a little to no issue, Takemura grabs Hanako and I meet him at a sketchy hotel. And chat and I watch Takemura t pose on them. Realizing I don't have double jump and can't just jump up like I normally do, I have to navigate my way through this hotel to get to Takemura. Luckily with the Sandy, I just activate it and run straight for him. To be real though, these guys hit like a truck and is actually a very difficult segment, but finally, with a lot of patience and perseverance, I'm able to finally get out and save Takemura. After making it out, we have a chat with Hanako through a proxy. After passing out, Johnny saves our life, we have a quick conversation, and finally unlock the end of the game. I decide to spend my last couple points and get myself set up for the final mission and decide to invest a majority into cold blood because when the cold blood stack is active, I'll get a lot of buffs that are generalized buffs to my weapons in general, not specific. And because I'm always weapon swapping, it just makes a lot more sense to invest heavy into cold blood. Now, because I'm treating this a little bit more like a speed run and because it's been way too long since I've asked if Anders was proud of me, I decided to go for the Arasaka ending. We get through all of the cutscenes and interactions and finally get picked up by Takimura and Anders. Hi Anders. He may be satisfied. It's good to see you again. I will be watching you. Jeez, fine, dude. We make it to Yorinobu's estate, and with Takemura's help, I'm able to clear my way through this area fairly easily. We save Hanako, and Chat and I talk about how fly Takemura is in his white suit. We have a chat with Papa Palpatine. Following Hanako into this big corporate meeting, Yorinobu's men show up, thus starting this combat segment. Now the one thing about this final combat segment is I know that the last guy I kill basically is going to be the gun I have for the entire Smasher fight if I play my cards right. So I want to end with a gun that is really good. And oh baby, I get a doozy. Hello? Shoot? Thank you. Jeez, what the heck? I'm spam clicking right now. Literally spam clicking. Ah, 
It's like he's friendly, so I can't shoot him. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> Dude, nice swing. Good form. Love to see it. I get a bonk. Come here. Who wants to get bonked? Bonk. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna die. Bonk. 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 <laughs> oh, grab it out of midair. Grab it out of midair. Dang it. <laughs> Another bonk and stick. Bonk. I'm too young to die. <laughs> Stop. No way it's this far back. Give it. Give it. Oh, it's one of these really big ones. Those are so much fun. Ones you can't actually put in your inventory, sadly. If I can use one of those guns to get into the Smasher fight, oh, that'd be so sick. All right, easy, easy. We're moving on. Give it, give it. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh gosh. Oh. Hey, kill one of them. Thank you. <laughs> Bonk. Bonking time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. I think that's a heavy machine gun guy. If I can make him the last kill, I think I can take a heavy machine gun into me, into the smasher fight with me. <laughs> These things are sick. There we go. No, no, no. Give it. The fresh one with 300 rounds, let's go. This entire next combat too, if I just kind of like walk out there, I think it just auto activates all the turrets and everything and we're chilling. I don't need to kill anybody here. So yeah, I think if I come out here, yeah, the, the turrets will pop out, shoot them all. I don't need to do anything. Guards are taken care of. I hope I can take this gun into the cutscene. My let runners have dealt with the doors. You can keep moving. As if they were gonna make these. Oh no, did they get rid of it? Your meat is oh, fuck. <gasps> yes! Adam Smasher came Let's go, look at his health go. <laughs> Bro, getting shredded. Okay, he's gotta rip off his armor, gain a little health back. Oh my gosh. And I gotta wait for him to reset again. There we go. Now we're good. Oh my gosh, this thing's incredible. Oh, I killed someone. No! Frick. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna focus Smasher. I'm using this gun to kill Smasher. I don't care. Adam Smasher came there. Okay. Rip off his armor, get back to 80 health. Trust me, I know. I will cross my hate through heart. Okay. Wait a sec. Okay. Alright, don't want to shoot him while he's next to the friends. Because then I have to switch guns. <laughs> uh, move faster, V. Okay. Watch out, V. Get up here, Smasher. Let's go. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh yo, I didn't know this thing overheated. I've never used one of these for very long. This is kind of sick. Is this a pain? I'm 
forgotten the sensation? Bye, Smasher. Oh. <sighs> Adam Smasher. <laughs> Finally. Done. And... <laughs> Let's go, guys. Weapon swap challenge. That was... I mean, now I get his gun, right? Ooh. Oh. <gasps> what? He drops this now? Yo, that's tight. That's actually so sick. That was a really fun challenge. Yeah, I don't think you usually can keep the guns, but I, I want to check now. Wait, hold up. Did these come with iconic text? They totally did. Eliminates vertical recoil. That's tight. Dude, these... Oh, I... Okay. I'll have to check if this actually lets me keep it. I might actually play through it right now. Just... I got time. This is still awkward to me. You guys are like 80 and 90, I think. Time to look to your problem. Anders! Are you proud of me? Anders. Anders, hey. Fate is a fickle mistress. Hey. Isn't she? Hey, Anders. Say what now? Are you proud of me? You spend your whole life fighting something. Only to become that very same thing. Hmm? Quite literally. I did it. I beat this challenge. I've done a lot since the last time we've talked. All right, fine. <laughs> well, there it is. Weapon swap challenge completed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a lot of fun doing this. Uh, you notice at the end there, I got those two guns with like the iconic text. I did end up playing all the way through the ending on stream and it turns out just like I expected, they don't let you keep those guns. Even though there's literally no other way to get legendary versions of those guns, it, it annoys me. Like, let me keep those guns, please. Anyways, I'm super thankful for everybody who has supported me and my channel, and I'm excited to keep making videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.